What a fucking time to leave your seat, huh? Fuck it. Jeez. Sorry! Yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, so, yeah, they gave me a go. <laughs> nice, isn't it? <laughs> nice. Yeah, and I gave up uh, drinking recently. That killed the room, didn't it? <laughs> Don't worry, guys. I started taking up smoking weed. <laughs> Where are my weed smokers at? <laughs> oh, sh sorry, I should have said. Any, any police in tonight? No? Or busies, busies is what you guys call them. You guys call them busies in Liverpool. It's weird. Uh, it is weird, like, because I was like, what, what the fuck? What, why not just call them the police? And they were like, oh, no, they're the, bu they're the fucking busies, lad. <laughs> Gotta fucking keep an eye out for the busies. Because I just, I rang up, uh, I rang up a drug dealer once, and, um, and that's not the end of the story, but it's a good start. <laughs> <laughs> I rang up uh, a drug dealer once, and uh, I suffer from uh, an affliction known as posh voice. Uh, so I ring up this guy, and he's like, hello. And I'm like, hi there, can I uh, buy some uh, weed, please? And he's like, fuck off, you're busy. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm not busy, mate. That's, that's why I want to buy some weed. <laughs> I, got some, uh, I got some time to kill. <laughs> now, I gave up drinking. Um, I used to, like, I used to drink alone, which is sad. Um, and I'd, like, you know, I'd be drinking. I'd go get a bottle of rum. And I'd drink it, and I'd like, you know, all like my past memories would come back to haunt me. And like, I'd just be there going in loops, just like, you're a fucking dickhead, mate. You're a fucking dickhead, mate. You're a fucking dickhead. Why are you a dickhead? I don't know. I'm a fucking dickhead. You're a fucking dickhead. But I smoked weed the other night. I laughed at the television for an hour and a half straight. <laughs> I don't have a television. <laughs> Turns out I was looking out the window, <laughs> and I live in the dingle. And, um, yeah, crackheads are really fucking entertaining. <laughs> they are fucking entertaining as fuck. Yeah. And there should be a show. Don't you reckon there should be a show called, like, Crackheads? <laughs> crackheads, come and watch the crackheads. They'll knock on the crackheads' door for... They'll knock on their dealer's door for an hour and a half, mate. They really will. I mean, I let them in eventually. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Tracy. How's the kids? Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I was uh, I was high the other night, and I was uh, with my mate, and we were watching YouTube. Uh, we were watching this thing uh, called Rass Kitchen. Anybody heard of it? You haven't heard of it? It's fucking good. <laughs> so basically, it's set in Jamaica, and it's about this Rasta chef. Already, you're all fucking writing it down, looking to watch it later. So basically, this white guy went over there, saw this guy, and thought, wow, he's a fucking legend. I bet I can make some money off him, because that's how white people think. We're awful. <laughs> We're awful, awful people, but we've got all the money! <laughs> so yeah, he's just, you know, he's, 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 it's great. It's, it's fucking great. The guy's like, um, the guy's like uh, what are you going to cook today? And he's like, ah, I'm going to cook some rundown today. Lobster run down, we're gonna go get the lobster and uh, we're gonna go get the mango and uh, and all the fruit we need and stuff like that. And we were watching this, me and my mate. And my mate was like, he just said the most white person thing possible. He just went, Wow, man, Rastafari's they're, they're just they're just so relaxed, man. They're just so relaxed. Like, we could learn a lot from them, but like, be more like Jamaicans, man. We could definitely learn a lot from them. I was like, Of course, he's fucking relaxed. He's going to get a lobster. He's going to the end of his garden where the fucking ocean is. <laughs> picks up a lobster. It's fucking 10 pounds. Yeah, that'll do, man. And he goes... <laughs> He's going to get a mango. Where's he going? He just goes to his back garden, picks one off the tree. That'll do. He's smoking copious amounts of marijuana, which he can grow in his house. <laughs> That's how fucking hot it is over there. Sunlight comes in. He's like, I need a bud. Boom, got a bud. Of course they're fucking relaxed. That bit needs an ending. Yeah. <laughs> Can't just get away with that hack line forever. <laughs> yeah, and no, I went, uh, I, was, uh, I was high recently, and uh, yes, everything will be about me being high. This is, it's my shtick. Um, but yeah, um, I went to the best place you can go to when you're high, and that is the World Buffet. <laughs> oh boy! <laughs> it's all these, it's 
It's all these really hard-working family that had built this restaurant over time, and they'd gone through several generations to make it bigger and bigger and better and better, more tasty food, and I thought, I'm going to put you fuckers out of business, mother. <laughs> <laughs> in there. And I'm like, I'm not a judgmental person. Like, we, you know, if we've got any judgmental people in the room, you can fuck off. Because I, like, you know, I, this is how I realized I wasn't judgmental. I was in a, I was in a field in the summer. Because we had a good summer. Hopefully I have another good summer. And I was um, smoking some weed. Uh, and I was drinking some tinnies. Uh, and, uh, and I was with some friends. We were listening to the music. It was a real chill time. Uh, and so then, then it became not, not so fucking chill. Because Karen came over. <laughs> and she was furious. I think it was because she didn't, I didn't have a manager that she could complain to about my behavior. <laughs> she said, excuse me, you do realize this is the no drinking zone? There are children over there. They are playing. They're, they're fucking in the distance. There are children over there. Is that a marijuana cigarette you're smoking right now? <laughs> Don't you know that's a controlled substance? And I was like, what? Bitch, I got this substance under control, don't you? Know? <laughs> it's good. It's a fire hazard, but I got it. <laughs> so I'm not a judgmental person. Um, I thought I wasn't until I was in the buffet, and then <laughs> I realized I'm a very judgmental person indeed. I saw one guy putting rice into, onto his plate. I was like, <laughs> rice, you fool. It turns out, the, if you didn't know this, guys, it turns out the carbohydrates are the cunts of the food pyramid because what happens is you, you put them in your mouth and you, they go down into your belly and then they expand, which means you get fuller quicker. You're not getting your money's worth, mate. <laughs> I don't know why I singled you out as a person who... <laughs> I think it's just your general everything. Um, <laughs> man likes to get his money's worth. That's cool. But yeah, no... Um, I saw, um, I was, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just walking around just like sort of like judging, <laughs> like meerkatting, judging everyone's plates. I'm walking around with 15 different kinds of prawns on my plate. <laughs> Some guy who got rice, chips, and naan bread on his plate. Dickhead. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. You know, um, I, um, I, I realized something as I was, I was in that buffet. I was like, uh, I don't want to leave this buffet. I want to live here now. <laughs> now I, I don't want to leave this buffet and, uh, until I'm asked to leave <laughs> this, this buffet. I think, I, I think the timing had come. The maitre d' came over and he said, uh, excuse me, sir, you are going to have to leave now. You appear to be uh, shoving marshmallows into your nose and anus. <laughs> and you're mainlining the chocolate fountain right now. <laughs> it's not so good. I've got uh, two minutes left. I'm going to tell you about a recent, uh, recent good thing that happened to me uh, recently. <laughs> in recent, in recent times. Um, I only went and bloody got laid, didn't I, guys? <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm like this and I got laid. It's great. But it was... Um, <laughs> it was... <laughs> Oh, yeah. It was, it was with the most Scouse girl that I've ever met in my entire life. I'd, I, I'd, I'd, ra I'd much rather come into a group of people from Liverpool and do a Rasta accent than try and do a Scouse accent because you guys get offended by that shit. But I do, I do know one, one word that I can say in a Scouse accent. I nail it. <laughs> <laughs> The funny thing is, is that the Scouse word that I know is actually a good riposte to that. So he said chicken, and I said, fucking no! <laughs> <laughs> fucking no! <But> yeah. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Uh, no, but, uh, fucking no. But, uh, yeah, so I was, um, I was, uh, I went on I went on a date uh and the date went very very well. Um on a completely unrelated note, the first time that I ever received a rusty trombone. Um some of you guys know what I'm talking about there, other guys, you're not so sure. Uh, let's give you a metaphor. So let's say you're trying to make someone come to the door. So what are you gonna do? You're gonna start knocking on that door. <laughs> That's what you're gonna do, direct eye contact with the mother. <laughs> you're gonna start 
knocking on that door. No! Ladies and gentlemen, if you're knocking on that door, we all know someone's going to come to that door eventually. But if you're knocking on the door and you're ringing the doorbell at the same, at the same time, <laughs> someone's going to come to that door real fucking quickly. And if they're anything like me, they're going to have a big old smile on their face. <laughs> Thank you. Um, yeah, um, so I, I, I didn't realize this. So I was listening to the radio up north, uh, and uh, I didn't realize this until somebody told me. But um, they went, oh, I see what you did there with the knocking on the door. And I was like, what? And they were like, and they said, oh, don't worry. And I was listening to the radio on the way home, and uh, I heard an advert. <laughs> Somebody's knocking at the door. <laughs> Somebody's ringing the bell. <laughs> yes, it's the postcode lottery advert, isn't it? Drat. And now every time you hear that, you'll think of me <laughs> getting wanked off with a finger in my ass. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go uh, serve you guys drinks now. <laughs> Oh, don't worry, I will wash my hands. Please tip your bartenders, we need money for weed. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Evans! Okie dokie, we are going to have one more break before our final section. It's one more chance for you to go to the bar, get your drinks, whatever you need to do. We'll see you back in about 10, 15 minutes. One more time for both the actions. Enjoy that section! Yeah.